Okay, so we've got in the mirror Ryanair Ruins holds for 400,000 more passengers. I think this is some sort of Ryanair have done something wrong and the the establishment want to destroy them for some reason. That's the only uh, only thing I can come to uh, uh, over this sort of thing. Uh, but then if we look onto the left hand side, we've got Jezza, Jezza, power to the people. How can it possibly be power to the people when we've got someone else in charge? It's not power to the people. This is more wool being pulled over your eyes. Uh, don't fall for it. He's one of them. Always has been. Always will be. Don't fall for it a again. We get to the Times now. Um, legal storm hits right. See, in every paper, it's 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 on about Ryanair. So they're after them for a reason. Whether they've done something wrong or not, like I say, I don't know. But if we look at the top there. Trade row threatens new British military contracts with the US. What a utter load of tosh. Um, there's no row. This is this is them attempting to say there's divide and conquer bullshit again. There's no trade row at all. And if we look down there where it says, legal storm hits Ryan over chaos of axed flights. There's something going on here behind, behind the scenes that we're not seeing. What it is, I'm not sure, but there's definitely something going on here behind the scenes. Um, and over there, May defends free market after Corbyn broadside. Again, just more smoke and mirrors. There is no free market. We're still in Europe. There is no Brexit. It's all made up. It's all smoke and mirrors. Uh, we get to the start. Plain crazy, blah, blah. Yeah, like I say, they're having a go at this Ryanair for a reason. W what the truth is, I don't know. And if you look at that photo, there's Corbyn. I'll infect you all. Yeah, well, <laughs> yeah, well, well, less said about that. And then just below, we've got the boxer, Freemason. Um, well, I think everyone knows about him. He was seen sh sh giving a Freemason handshake to the Yorkshire Ripper in front of uh, Jimmy Sack. Tories are hanging on by the fingertips. Again, Corbyn's doing this. What I would say, I would suggest this is some sort of devil Manakanuta horn type thing that he's doing here. Um, that's that's the way I see it. You, you may see it differently. If we look over on the side there, fresh chaos as Ryan again Ryanair. But they love the they love their buzzwords. And the buzzword here is chaos because if you know, well of course you do. You know about the new world order. Their their motto, if you like, is order out of chaos. So this is what they're trying to bring in. They're making you think it's chaos so that they can then control the system and, and sort things out. Back onto the uh, Daily whatever now. Look, more Ryanair stuff. Daily Express. Millions face pension shock. Hey, you don't need to be shocked about it. No one is getting a pension. No matter what you say, what you think or how much you've paid in, no one is getting a pension. That's it. Be all and end all. And the headline there, top on the right hand side, Corbyn's Labour would be tragic for Britain. Well, yeah, how would it? He's still part of the establishment. This is just fear and bullshit. Now, if you remember in the other papers, they've all been pro Corbyn. This tells me Corbyn's already been selected as the next um, Prime Minister, done and dusted. The Daily Telegraph may threatens us. Uh, I'm just sick and tired of, of, of this sort of lame attempt to put us in fear all the time all the time main th but may threatens us with trade war well believe that if you want to but it's a load of tosh as far as i'm concerned um it's it's just again they're trying to pretend there's there's different sides to the stories and there isn't and if we look down there where it says children look to similar for, uh, too similar for iPhone face recognition to work, says Apple. Again, another idiotic uh, story. Uh, that they, they use the face recognition. They want you to use it thinking that they look, that, that they look too similar so they can't use it. Anyone that's using these phones, the, the images are being captured and the facial recognition is all scanned. This is total, absolute fake story. Now this part, if you look down there where it says pork... Mackerel and avocado, the diet that could help you lose weight. Well, I'll agree with 
mackerel and avocado. Avocado is a superfood, by the way. Mackerel, an, an oily fish, which is apparently really good for you. Pork, however, absolutely a no-no. Don't go near pork at all. Again, if we get to the bottom there, we've got the little stories. Ryan, Ryan here kicks 400,000 more people off flights. Again, I don't know why they're going for him. Uh, next to that, fear of chaos over taxman's ready-filled form. Again, chaos, the buzzword, order out of chaos, the Illuminati bu bu bullshit crap there. Um, Whitehall worker held as suspected spy. Well, they're all criminals. You know, there's, there's no just one of them. And then Maverick defeats Trump's pick for Senate. Well, <sighs> why anybody reads this stuff is it's just beyond me. It's 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 just rubbish. There's nothing of interest in these papers whatsoever. And then we come to the sun. The sun's got no um, credibility now or ever has. But this is their main story. Full spread, spread uh, full page spread even. Hit for six about some cricketer that knocks someone out and is caught on CCTV. Whoopie do. Financial Times. Well. Again, more um, more of the same, you know, we can live with it or live without it. Trump eyes corporate tax cuts in push to revamp system. Now, if you were thinking ever that Trump was not on their side, what have the governments, all of them in the UK done consistently? They've cut tax for the corporations. And what's he doing here? Cutting tax for the corporations. There is no difference. They're all the same at the end of the day. Now, this, this photo is quite interesting. These uh, protests in South Africa uh, demands Zuma's, Zuma's replacement. The only problem with that is you replace one and another one comes in. So what they need to do is get rid of them all, get rid of the politics, get rid of the whole system, because we can do a hell of a lot better ourselves. If we look where, that, where you can see the plane down there, Canada and UK hit back at US tariffs for... for Bombardier. Again, more more absolute rubbish. Their um, the, the, the plan is to destroy the UK's um, manufacturing uh, system, which they've done. Uh, in Nottingham, for instance, used to have a very big lace industry. Gone. Uh, Birmingham, Coventry, very big car manufacturers. Gone. And this is that there are the plan to destroy the UK's manufacturing system, so we become reliant totally on. Uh, other country imports. Now, if we look at the metro here, power to the people, him doing his devil stuff again. Um, there is no power to the people. As I said earlier, while you've got anyone in charge of us, there is no power to the people at all. Full stop, period.